I'm going to make a Greek inspired pie. And instead of it looking like the classic pie, what I'm going to be doing is making some coils out of it. They'll almost look like little snails. And to get that effect for this pie, I'll be using some phyllo. Now let's get on to the filling. You can use some lamb mince for this, or I'm using some beef mince. Chicken mince also works a treat too. 500 grams, and we'll place this into a bowl. And then we need to add some flavour to this base mixture. Two cloves of garlic and we'll just finely mince it. Don't want big chunks of garlic because it will overpower. And then I'm going to add a spice. Now, if you want to keep it 100% Greek, you can just put a little bit of dried oregano. But when I was testing this at home, I added some duca. Now, duca is a Middle Eastern spice mix, but it works really nice for these pies. It's a mixture of dried spices, herbs, nuts, and seeds. It's also going to give a really lovely crunch to our filling. My herb of choice is some good old dill. So we'll just take the stalks off scrunch it up and then add it. Now you can see how much I'm using a very small handful. Don't use any more than that because it will overtake the other flavours that are going on here. So we just want that slight anise flavour and that's the flavour you get from dill. All right, in that goes. And a quarter of a red onion that will finely chop. So going in one direction and then crisscross so we get this onion really fine. We're not going to waste this onion because I'll serve this in a little salad that will go with a little coils. And now to bulk it out even more, I love the addition of spinach. This is around 150 grams of spinach, so two or three large handfuls of baby spinach that I've just blanched in some water. And I've squeezed it really well because you don't want any water in this. So squeeze that through your hands, even dry it with a bit of paper toweling or in a nice clean tea towel. And then run your knife through it a few times to essentially make it into the same texture as the minced meat. So nice and fine. Now the last thing we need in here is some cheese and a little bit of Greek feta is what I love to add. I love it because it's salty, it crumbles really well and when it cooks it leaves a really lovely flavour. So just breaking that up. And now for some seasoning, a little bit of salt, not too much salt, the feta is salty enough. Essentially we just want to season that meat and spinach and then a really good crack of pepper. Now I'm not adding any binding agent to this. I don't need any breadcrumbs. I don't need any egg. The meat will be sticky enough, especially when I work it a little bit with my hands. So I'm gonna give this a really good mix until it almost starts to become sticky. And then we can start with the pastry. Now that the meat is nice and sticky, we can prepare the phyllo pastry. Now I like to bring my phyllo out of the fridge a few hours before using it because it's much easier to handle. It's also a really good idea to have a damp tea towel on hand to cover up the phyllo pastry so, again, it doesn't dry out. So we'll take one leaf, cover this, and what we need to do is just brush this with a little bit of butter. I like to use a nice big brush, just makes brushing these so much easier. Nice long strokes. Then I'll place another piece of phyllo on top. So all the way to the ends there. And we only need two pieces of phyllo per coil. If you put too many pieces of phyllo, what will happen is it'll break up and we want these coils to bend. So second layer, match it up, cover our phyllo. And then a small amount of butter on the second layer. And now we can place the filling in. So we want to make a cylinder shape, almost like a sausage. So grab a nice generous amount, one handful about the size of a tennis ball. Then we'll place it on the phyllo, the bottom side of it. And you want the phyllo pastry to be horizontal. Just slowly, take your time doing this, spread it out so it's nice and even. Essentially, at this stage, it's going to look like a sausage roll. Now we need to wrap this and you can do it quite loosely because then we need to twist it. So grab the bottom end and then wrap it up, doing it in stages, squishing it so it's nice even sausage roll. Now for the coil stage, we need to very carefully wrap it around. There you have it, 
That's our first coil, a little Greek style pie. Don't they look fantastic? And you can see how crinkled and wrinkly it is. That's great. That's going to make our end result really crunchy. A little bit more butter on the top so it goes golden brown. And this is a really nice touch. A hint more duka, sprinkling that over. I like to add a little bit of salt too so we get that lovely crunch. And that's the first coil done. I'll pop that on the tray. Now these go into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. The meat's not cooked yet, so it needs a bit more time in the oven. And we want the oven to be on at about 180 degrees. All right, I'm gonna make a few more and then we'll start cooking them. Now these coils have come out of the oven, they look fantastic, they're crispy, but they're piping hot. So just allow them to cool for about five minutes. And that gives me just enough time to make a really yummy salad to go with it. A basic Greek salad, there's a few different ways of making it. I like to make mine as simple as possible. So a little bit of cucumber, telegraph cucumber, and we'll cut that into quarters. You can take the seeds out if you like. I'm gonna leave them on and I'm leaving the skin on too because there's so much flavor in it. And we'll just roughly dice it. Pop it into a bowl. Good old ripe tomato. And then again, roughly chopping it. This is also great for entertaining, a really nice healthy salad like this. You can make big batches of these little coils, pop them in the fridge and then cook them at the last minute, especially when you've got a lot of people coming over. Now for some onion, finely slice a red onion that we reserved. Just break it up with our fingers and I'll add some salt. I like to add the salt before I add the lemon and the olive oil because I really want some of the moisture to come out of the veggies. Now for some lemon juice, just take a cheek of lemon, good squeeze, could use some vinegar also, and some really nice Australian extra virgin olive oil. I'm using a rich and robust one, so I can taste the characteristics of it. A sprinkling of dill, and I love some dried oregano. And last but not least, you can't have a Greek salad without some extra feta. Crumble that in and then give that a really nice toss. I'm using my hands just to really coat everything in that olive oil. Now for these coils, I'm gonna take this beautiful one here, place that on our plate, and then all we need to do is serve our really yummy salad on the side. That's a very different take on a classic meat pie. Give it a bit of a Greek inspiration there. The coils look fantastic. Serve it with a fresh salad, it is delightful.